guys look at my plant you guys know i like my pink hearts doesn't it look like a pink heart <sighs> so cute i got another one growing you got a pink heart <laughs> Happy Wednesday. So, I'm gonna pick out a pair of jeans that I'm gonna turn into a skirt. I don't know if I'll make it a long skirt or like to my knees so, my, so I can wear my boots with it. So, got a lot of jeans. You know how you want to mess up jeans? I don't know. Let me see. Um, mm, a pair that I don't need a lot of. I do have some wide-legged ones that I don't really wear a lot of. I can turn that one into a dress. A skirt. All right, let me see. It's going to be from this pile or this pile. I don't know. And these two are wide-legged jeans. Okay, so I chose these. They're wide leg jean. So this part right here, I'm gonna take off gently and put it for the hem of the skirt. So I'll probably make the skirt like right here and then put this on the end. Use these for the ends, for the bottom. So that'd be cute. So to get like a somewhat of how to look it'd be like that without the course you know without this part so let's hope it come out like that and i don't wear these jeans i bought them for a reason for a party and i don't mess with them so so yeah so we're gonna use those jeans and i'm gonna show you step by step <clears throat> of uh, what I'm doing. It's going to be nice and quick. It doesn't take long. Okay? So let me cut it out and then I'll show you how to pieces. Okay, so I'm cutting right here. So then when I put the hem part on, it'll be right here. So I think I better cut it in the middle like right here. Here's the fold. Here's where I want the hem to be. And then this is where I'm cutting it at. Because it's gonna, if I cut it here, when I go to sew it, it's gonna bring it up to here. So let's cut it in the middle. Okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna cut this off, but I'm gonna cut it up this way. So that's my line. What's great about these, okay, I took the hem part off the bottom part. They had this little slit. So if you take like a seam rip, ripper and just go up there you can take that loose without you know ripping the material so it's easier to make a hem so let me do that so you just so all right so I cut this this is gonna go on the bottom remember show y'all an example like that. You see it's long enough to go all the way across. So you get an idea how it's going to Remember I cut the on an angle so that the skirt, you know, have that little angle like for when I sew this together. So we're going to open this part up now. And you're going to open it behind, behind the seam. Okay, right along there, on both sides. Okay, the seam is open, and I did it right on, right on the fold, all the way up. Messed up a little bit, right there, but I can get that off. And the back is all open. 
So now we're gonna pin it together. Let's see. The seam kind of lets you know which way it's going. Because this is where they sold it at. That's the opening. So this is where you're gonna cut. Just a little bit. Because you're gonna cross that over when we're sewing it. So you want that to be out. Okay. All right, so let me cut along there. And you're gonna do the same with the back. You're gonna take that up. Probably to like up here. So like one, two and a half inches, depending on your jeans. These are high waist jeans, so depending on your jeans. Okay? You can always adjust it too. Okay, so I cut the seam on the back up. This is where I want to stop because I don't want to have a bulk there. You know, look like guys, I'm sticking out boot boot. So this is how I placed it. And that'll be a little slit. Okay? I don't advise sewing it like this because this you will have problems with. Okay? So it's best to lay it to the way that it's going. It's going this way. So just lay it on top because you want it smooth. See how smooth that is? I'm gonna lay it on top, fold it a little, and you're gonna do just a regular stitch. And I think with this, I'm gonna use like a, I don't know if that's, I guess it's a light blue, and just sew it right here. So I'm gonna double stitch right here to there. And then for the excess, I'll just fold in place okay so what we're gonna do now is iron it so you know what you're doing okay let's do that okay so i have everything lined up from here to here okay i'm just gonna iron it a little bit more after we sew this all the little excess that's in here we're gonna cut off even in the back that little excess right there, we're gonna cut, okay? I'm gonna put a pin there now so that when we sew in, um, it doesn't accidentally flap in there. So just stick a pin there. You can always feel it so it can stay. So this is what I finished doing. I ironed it, pin where I'm gonna sew at. That's gonna be a little slit, okay? You turn over to the back. And I do the same thing. Ouch. That's what a slit is gonna be. This is just holding this part. But after we sew it, that extra piece in there, we're gonna cut off, okay? So see how nice and even it is? When you cut it, it comes out nice and even. So the back is gonna have like a little extra slope. And then the front, see? It's gonna be like a little drop in the back. That's gonna be cute. What? Now for the bottom part, let me iron that. I'm gonna cut, cut this excess off up into the seam because I'm sewing on top of this anyway. So we don't need all this extra stuff, okay? Okay, so I cut off all the excess. And this is how it look. See guys, it's gonna be nice and easy. The same steps go for any pair of jeans you're making it. If you don't want to put up on a skirt on the end, just don't. Just, you know, fringe it. And so, uh, if you don't want to put anything on the bottom for the hem, just fringe it. And if you want to know how to fringe it, I have a video that said how I fringe my jeans. So, you can go watch that one. Okay? I'll show you guys. I'll show you. Oh, yeah, guys. Make sure you have a nice a good pair of scissors. What is my hair doing? I gotta change this part because I'm gonna cut it too short. Anyway, make sure you have a good pair of scissors because you wanna always have a clean cut, okay? Good pair of scissors give you a nice clean cut. So this is gonna go on the bottom. This is gonna be the quickest skirt you ever made in your life. <laughs> if you ever made a skirt before. But these are real quick. All right.
front is done, so now we're gonna do the back. So we're sewing from here, from this front stitch, and then you just take it on down. And I'm using regular blue thread. Remember, you're on a seam. See? Right here. Close as you can get it. I already did this stitch right here to hold down where we folded it in the back. So that's your double stitch right there. And you're gonna make another stitch right here. Just the stitch you're working on now. Now the back and the front is done. All we gotta do now is the hem. Got the bottom pinned on as straight as possible as I can do it. I'm just gonna sew that and then the skirt's gonna be done. Just gonna cut this part off. Remember, I told you you don't need this after a while. After you sew this on, I still gotta do this part right here because I don't want to. I don't want to break my needle. Same thing in the front. I'm gonna cut this extra off because you don't need it anymore. Okay, guys, the skirt is ready. It's all done. I'll put it on real quick. Show y'all that. to make yourself a jean, a jean skirt outer, a pair of jeans that you really don't care about too much anymore. They're just hanging around for no reason. So give it a reason, okay? You can make it long or short. And also, if you don't have a sewing machine, you can also do this by hand. It does not take a long time, okay? I, I have to say, between cutting and sewing, it was like an hour job, that's it just an hour for me. But just take your time and just follow these steps. It's really easy. The same step for any type of jean, okay? So, okay guys, so that's it for this vlog. I hope you guys liked it and that you learned something from it or picked up something from it to make yourself a skirt out of your jeans. Until next vlog, that was fun. And if you haven't, please subscribe. And if you like it, please give me a thumbs up, comment, and share. Thank you very much. See you on the next vlog. Bye-bye.